In this video, I wanna talk about some of the expectations that are placed on you as a handsome man. And even though the title of these videos are aimed at guys that are considered to be handsome and purely physically attractive, a lot of these principles extend to guys who are considered attractive in general. What I mean by that is a guy may not necessarily be a GQ model, but he's got an attractive personality or he's the popular guy at work or in school. Or maybe a guy is the opposite and has more of a mysterious vibe to him and women find him attractive for that reason. Women find guys attractive for a lot of reasons, but for this video, I'm gonna be focusing more on the type of guy that is simply physically attractive and considered handsome, but just keep in mind that these videos apply to more than just that archetype of man. So what prompted me to make this video is a recurring theme I've seen over the last few months doing one-on-one -on -one calls with guys. I've noticed that more and more guys are getting some of the foundational elements of physical self-improvement down, like hitting the gym consistently and working on different aspects of their looks in general. And that's all good, but I've noticed that internal game tends to lag behind, which is to be expected because it takes much longer to shift your internal state and mental frameworks than it does to drop 10 pounds of fat or get a new haircut. But more specifically, a part of internal game I've noticed lacking is the idea of congruence and being aware of how you look as a man. To illustrate this idea, I want you to picture a guy who's 6'5", good looking and jacked. Now picture that same guy sending texts with a bunch of cry emojis saying I miss you baby or being very robotic and dry when a girl is trying to flirt or sexualize the conversation herself. The immediate problem with this should be obvious when it's laid out like that, but since internal game and internal states in general typically lag behind physical improvements, I've noticed that some guys are unaware of this disconnect between their appearance and their behavior. They look like an attractive masculine guy on the outside, but then once the girl gets into the mix with them, they discover that the guy's behavior is different from how he looks. And this is a huge problem. But before I go on, a quick Google search on the word congruence gives one definition that says, congruence means that you express yourself in a way that matches your true feelings and thoughts. And for the sake of dating and attraction, I would also add that it means aligning your appearance with your behavior. There should be a consistency there to some degree. Now, let me also be clear about something else I've said. I've said before in other videos that you have to be aware of how intimidating you can be if you're an attractive guy, and you will often have to be the one to approach people to show a warmer, friendlier side to dispel some of the assumptions that people have of you. For example, some people will think you're arrogant just because you're good looking. So by being the one to break the ice with them and have a down to earth conversation, you'll surprise them by showing that you aren't the guy that they thought you were. But at the same time, and I'm going to do my best to articulate this concept because it is simultaneously true with what I just said. You have to be aware of what women expect of you based on your appearance and presentation. And if you don't align with that presentation, it is a turnoff and a letdown. If you're a tatted up good looking dude who looks like he gets girls all the time and could knock out somebody in a fight, the last thing you want to do is emasculate yourself by texting or talking in a way that contradicts your appearance. You have to understand that a woman who comes out on a date with you or drives 40 miles to come to your house is coming to see you because she's attracted to the idea of who you are. She has created an image of you in her mind based off the data that she has at her disposal, which could simply be your appearance or your social media profile or the fact that you seemed like a cool guy the night she met you at a bar. If you act in a way that is contradictory to that image that she has in her head, which would commonly be a more feminine way or the type of guy that can't read the situation and doesn't make any moves or he's just dry, then you pop the bubble of that idea in her mind and it kills the attraction. You have to understand that as an attractive guy, you're assumed to be a guy that is successful with women by default. Even if you're actually terrible with women, just by looking like a guy who gets female attention, you're assumed to be a guy that gets women and knows what to do when he's got a woman in his presence. So again, if you constantly contradict that assumption, it's a huge turnoff. If we turn the tables, it would be like seeing a beautiful woman while you're out and she's got the pretty face, the body's on point, everything's looking good. And then you take her home and she takes off the makeup, the high heels, the push-up bra, and looks like a completely different human in a bad way. The image you had of her in your mind and in front of you ended up being completely different than who she actually is. So you'd feel an internal letdown to some degree. Now, maybe she's still cute enough and a cool girl to keep around even after catfishing you. <laughs> But with women, this is amplified even more when it comes to behavior not aligning with who the man appears to be. It's more of a deal breaker because it's going to trigger a deeper internal disgust that she can't help. And that doesn't mean it's going to be a conscious thought of, oh, wow, this guy's so gross because he isn't congruent. <laughs> 
It's more that she will lose attraction for you and you'll seem less interesting or she will feel disappointed like, He's just not the guy I thought he was. It's like when you hear women say that a guy was cute until he opened his mouth. It's the same exact concept. A more subtle way I've seen this play out is guys acting too chivalrous or tiptoeing too much. They're trying not to come off disrespectful or creepy, but instead it sanitizes their personality and makes them come off less assertive, less polarizing, and it detracts from their masculinity as a whole because of it. And the point isn't to be disrespectful or act like an idiot. The point is to not sanitize yourself and to instead allow your inner desires and thoughts to shine through and align with your presentation. Remember, the definition of congruence is expressing yourself in a way that matches your true feelings and thoughts. I always like using the character of James Bond to illustrate certain points because even though he's a fictional character, he's a good representation of various attributes that make up a guy who is attractive inside and out. And one of the key things you'll notice about James Bond movies is that he comes off cordial and respectful by default, but he is playfully flirtatious in a masculine way, and more importantly, he's ready to strike when the opportunity presents itself, like a girl flirting with him and showing interest. There's there's zero hesitation to display his desire for the woman when the time is right and it creates this congruence to where he looks like an attractive assertive masculine man that knows what to do with women and then he actually delivers on that in practice. I want you to imagine if you took a modern version of James Bond and had him texting a bunch of smiley face emojis or asking a girl, would you let me take you out? Or if a girl texted him clearly throwing sexual signals and then he just said something back like, oh babe, I can't wait to see your pretty face this week. <laughs> Your immediate reaction would be, what the hell, I, I thought this guy was James Bond. But that's exactly what some guys are doing and you might be one of them. Correcting this is about aligning your internal state with your outward presentation. It's about being aware of how you're perceived and not necessarily creating a fake persona to align with that because that wouldn't be congruent. It's more about allowing your inner voice and desires to shine through more and not sanitizing your personality to act in a way that you think will win her over. At your core as a man, you're already a masculine and sexualized being, and an attractive woman knows exactly why you're talking to her in the first place. She isn't stupid. She knows that you have a sexual attraction to her if you've gone as far as getting her number or going out with her. So why are you suppressing your natural masculine nature? And I'm not saying to act like a caveman and jump all over the girl as soon as you see her, you should always act in a polite way that aligns with social norms in that sense, but instead to lose the fear of failure and act on where your inner voice is guiding you. Because that's where a lot of this overly chivalrous and nice guy feminine behavior comes from. It comes from a place of not wanting to fail and the fear of making a bad impression. But here's the thing, and pay attention to this. You're not actually increasing your chances of success by lowering risk through passivity. It's actually increasing your chances of failure by not being true to yourself. In reality, there's no logical reason to try and appease one woman in a special way over the next. You should be acting in a congruent way across the board with all of them. You shoot your shot and if it fails, you move on to the next. There will always be another girl and another opportunity. But operating in this weak zone of hesitation and being afraid to say the wrong thing or offend is just going to contradict your appearance and be a huge turnoff for the girl. Understand that she's physically attracted to you in the first place for a reason, and she expects you to deliver on that by giving her an experience that is equally attractive to your external attractiveness. If you crush that ideal in her mind, that is when you start getting the wishy-washy, ghosting type of behavior or a girl that just hangs around until she finds the next best thing. So if you look like a masculine attractive guy, you have to be a masculine attractive guy. And you can do all of this while still being a gentleman and not being overly brash or a weirdo. Know exactly where you're trying to take her, be intentional and be direct. Now, if you need more help in this area, check the links in the description. And before you go, make sure you watch this video next, where I talk about some of the negative assumptions that will be made about you as an attractive man. And I will see you in the next one.